Hi there and welcome to the second part of this tutorial where we're making a simple platform game in Blender. Um, in this tutorial we're going to set up um, some options on this character um, here um, and some of these options are going to be set over here in the bottom right inside the properties panel. Okay so we've got the player character selected so I've right clicked and you'll see that this character is selected, it's highlighted with a yellow outline um, and in the properties panel I'm going to have a look at physics. Now it's really essential that when you're making a game inside Blender that you have the Blender game renderer set here or else all the physics options will be different. Okay. Now you'll see that the physics type for this object is currently set to static. Now that means that that object is not affected by gravity or physics or anything like that. So we've got to change that because this character has to be affected by gravity. I'm going to change this character, um, its physics type, to dynamic. Now that means that this character will be affected by gravity, but it will also remain upright. It won't actually fall over if it's pushed. Okay. Um, and while we're in here, there's another option that we need to set, and that is the collision bounds. Now by default, collision bounds are not switched on, so I'm going to tick that box. And this means that it will use the shape of this box here um, to determine if this object is colliding with something else or not. So it's always handy to turn that on or else um, the collisions don't work um, normally. Okay, so the two things we did there were set the physics type to dynamic and then switch the collision bounds on. Now if I test my game by just moving the mouse pointer here and pressing P, we'll find that the character automatically falls down because gravity is now affecting this object. So the next stage will be to put an object in that will represent the ground in the game. So I'm just going to change to a top down view, pressing number 7 on my number key and then I'm going to add a new object by pressing shift and A and choosing mesh and then plane. So I'm going to add a flat plane to represent the ground. So I'm going to scale that a larger. So um, oops. I'm just going to press S to scale and make that a little bit larger. Just move it across here so that the player character is right in the middle. And I'll just make sure that the player is actually positioned above this ground. Okay, so there's the ground there. And the player is a little bit above it. Now the player object, as we did earlier, is set to be um, a dynamic physics type. And we'll see that the ground is set to be a static physics type. Now if I test my game now, what we should see is that the player falls due to gravity but lands on this ground object that we just made. Okay, one last thing um, in this part of the tutorial is I'm going to select this, this platform, this piece of ground, and I'm going to add a game property to it. So this can be done um, in this panel at the bottom here, and click the button to add a game property. And the property I'm going to set for this is ground. Okay, just using the word ground for this property. It's not important what type of um, property it is. You see that there's a whole bunch of different properties, but I'm just going to leave it as the default. It will become obvious later on why we need to set that, that setting. Okay, so that ends the second part of this tutorial series.